Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Feels good, always, to be able to sit and to shuffle cards and to pull the chart and to talk to you about this phenomenal Libra new moon that's gonna be happening on October 6, 2021. And I have the chart pulled up for 3.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but by all means, you guys, um, feel free to check the description box for the exact time. You guys already know that I rely, I'm self-reliant, so I do not check in with other blogs or anything like that or other sources of information on the internet. I always leave myself to my own devices, Virgo Vibes, and pull the chart and see what's going on roundabout time when I'm doing these readings because not only am I looking at the math, the science, and the angles of the planets within the astrology chart, but I'm intuitively pulling that information and I'm delivering those messages over to you guys. So having said that, you guys, this new moon, it just feels like a massive portal for change, for revelation, for shifts that have already been set into motion, but it really feels like we are embedding ourselves in a new reality, a new world, a new, a new lifestyle, a new, um, new ground. And new moons typically have that space. It's this empty, dark hole, the void space that we can just plant our seeds of intention in and give them the space, water, water them with patience, with love, with kindness, with compassion, give them the space and they will grow. That's the energy of the new moon as a whole it's very feminine it's very dark it's the not only the potential but it's what we've planted into that into the potential libra naturally connects to relationships to harmony to alignment sorry guys if you see the door moving back and forth and sorry if you hear my chicken cobweb who has been quite quite the personality lately you guys my chicken cobweb he has matured he has finally stepped into his masculine manhood and every once in a while throughout the day he'll call out. I just put the water down so, and he hears me talking so. So if you don't already know, Libra is the sign that connects with the idea of harmonizing with aligning with synchronizing. Um, and it's the first time within the journey of the astrological chart, within the natal chart, that we step outside of ourselves and we start to approach the idea of the other. So it's the natural seventh house ruler, and it rules, again, our lifelong partners, but also our enemies, the enemies that, it is that we know and that we are aware of. Having said that, you guys, this Libra new moon is going to be exactly conjunct Mars. Mars is totally uncomfortable in the sign of Libra. He wants to be active. He wants to be in charge. He wants to be a leader. He wants to prioritize his goals, his rules, um, his his will. All of those things are things that he wants to put in the first forefront of his mind. And when Libra comes in, it can be very wishy-washy. And the reason why is because there's this space where we are not really considering just ourselves. We are considering ourselves to a certain point when it says, you know, does this thing that I'm harmonizing with or this person that I'm aligning with, does it make me happy? Does it fulfill my my perfect picture of whatever I want my true life love to look like or this relationship or whatever the case is? It could it's not just romantic, it could be platonic, it could be business, fill in the blank. And sometimes it's not even not even a romantic relationship, a relationship with a human being. Sometimes it could be your relationship with food. It could be your relationship with your business, your relationship with the animals that, is that you're taking care of, or your relationship with the internet. It all depends on your personal chart, how your natal chart is aligned, and where this, this Libra new moon is happening within your chart, right? So when Mars is conjunct this new moon, um, this is where we really start to ask ourselves, you know, what I've been doing and what has already happened does this fulfill and what do I want to do what do I want to take with this moving forward right and we this question is so important and so powerful because we have gone through the majority of us have gone through so much within the last few months definitely but within the last year and the year and some change for some of you guys it's been a lot longer this is because of that Saturn the Saturn, um, the Saturn transits, the Pluto transits, Jupiter retrograde—all of those, plan all of these major, heavy, hard-hitting planets that are 
going forward, retracing their steps, the weight, the magnitude of the lessons that they bring in our lives and how they trigger the events in our personal intimate lives and also the events in the world is something that is unforgettable and undeniable without a doubt. So now that we have this leap or new moon and all of the breakdown of everything that has already occurred and we have this, this door that's open or the seed or the ground has been opened up for the seed to be planted in, what exactly do you want to now align with, to harmonize with, and what do you want that to look like? So Libra is all about balance. It's all about harmony. It's all about synchronizing and making it work. And as I'm saying that, look what's at the bottom, the base of this reading, but the temperance card, which is all about taking very different opposites, maybe even polar extremes, polar opposites, and finding a way that makes it work for you. This is something that's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be a 100% 50-50. It could be 30, 80, 50, 20, 10, 5, 15, 12%. Whatever the, math, the mathematics is going to look like for you, it's up to you to decide. You guys know if you are not a stranger to my YouTube channel and if you're not a stranger to my messages and the information that is that I've been channeling and sharing and the charts that is that I've been pulling, Chiron has, the wounded healer has been moving retrograde back through the sign of Aries and Aries is very, very dominant, all about leadership and putting the self first. And why this is so important and why spirit wants you to return and to revisit to the self before you start offering your all to the world or to your all to your partner, or all to this idea, this idolization of you know, this hope, this dream that is that you wish to manifest, you have to first understand your own needs, your own desires, what makes you tick, what makes you fulfilled, what makes you happy, happy, what makes you whole, in order to synchronize in a way that is healthy and constructive with anything else. And once you synchronize and once you've aligned, there always has to be this kind of maneuvering dance effect that constantly is 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 that we're all in, where we try to figure out, okay, this is what this looks like under this pressure and it does change. As human beings, we are always evolving and the situations around us are always evolving. So if that's the case, we ourselves, everything is changing and there's always gonna be this little dance effect. How do I make this work for me? Do I want it to work for me? And if not, you know, where's the exit or spirit will guide you and lead you to whatever transformation is gonna look like for you, right? It's this baptism by fire is the word that's coming through right now you guys so what i want to share with you is the cards that is that i pulled we have five of cups and ace of swords this is so important and so impactful and a really strong message that is that i want to share with you guys because ace of swords is 1000 percent connected to the strength of the mind the clarity of the mind but the five of cups is connected to um i don't want to say the confusion or the confliction of the emotions but there is a sense of loss or a sense of adjustment that can be really tough for us to sit with and adjust sometimes even as we're trying to adjust accordingly throughout this entire time that is that I'm filming if you're watching this video in real time or you're just coming in to check for an intuitive message which I've been hearing a lot of you guys have been doing that Mercury has been retrograde you guys so you are really called and guided to look back at what was lost look back at what you've learned look back at where you've come from and see what needs to be picked up, see, see what needs to be um, cons consoled, see what needs to be nurtured, see what needs to be supported before you're able to move forward, right? And the Libra new moon is the time, the space for you to tap into that feminine energy, to allow yourself to sit in the void, to allow yourself to sit within this, this hole and it doesn't feel bad for everyone, it could be really good. It's just sitting and grounding yourself and getting into the mind and getting into the past and getting into alignment with the divine so that you can then bring, continue to not only bring these areas of your life to a full completion, but to co-create with the universe where it is that you are headed, where it is that you're what it is that you're manifesting, what is it you're called to manifest. It's gonna be clear, it's going to resonate. Spirit does not want you to repeat the past mistakes or lessons of the past, not if it's not without purpose. They want you to learn, they want you to grow, they want you to move forward. One of the words that came through is this energy of being unbound from things, to unbind the mind and then to link up with beautiful natural things within a natural environment. Don't forget for one second that Libra does rule the aesthetic. It's very important that 
you place yourself in a position of beauty as much as you can. Maybe this is you going for a walk in the park if you're an earth sign, maybe lighting some candles if you're a fire sign, um, sitting in the bathtub or soaking in the lake if you're a water sign, maybe having conversations and dialogues as with your friends if you're air, whatever it is that works for you, whatever it is that nurtures your soul, definitely check your moon signs and see what it is that you need. Whatever element it is, is the, the level of healing and the beautiful space that is that you want to embody at the time of this Libra new moon in order to really inspire awe and um, magic within your life. Yeah, so you want to sit within that within that space and and you know allow yourself to kind not recount in a way that makes you that drags you down but in a way that says in my past this is where i struggled to have balance within my relationship or in my past this is where i struggled to have balance within my work life you know work pleasure um in my past this is what whatever the case is and now in this environment in this beautiful surroundings this is how i'm going to do it better now again there's this idea of baptism by fire and what this means is that there is tremendous heavy pressure that is the catalyst to your own change to your own revelation that we are all in trust and believe you are not the only one i've heard i've got even before i started filming this video i saw a comment saying just this this transit has been happening in my second house of my my values my money and it's been such a tumultuous time yes absolutely and then there are some people who are having this transit going through their sixth house so not all it's not just impacting their finances but it impacts their health it impacts their day-to-day -day life so it's something that they can't escape it's something that they can't avoid so keep that in mind and understanding that everybody's on their own path they're on their own journey so you want to give them grace but also it's it's um it could comfort you in knowing that you're not in this alone okay we're all under the same blanket the same cosmic <laughs> alignment in this in the scar stars and yeah it's no coincidence that i just said scars because we all are walking around with our own scars from our own battlegrounds on the path but we're all in this together and that should really harmonize and bring us together instead of separating us and pulling us apart and there is that space you know that has been happening but I've noticed within the spirituality community, for the most part, we've got all kind of been hanging in this together. Look, the Empress card is here. We are all being nurtured and supported right now, and we are in such abundant, prosperous, blessed times of nurturing and healing, even in how we address and are aware of our planet Earth and her suffering, um, how we are aware of the suffering of others that we never even considered on the opposite side of the planet, on the opposite side of the globe. We're aware of the suffering of our neighbors, the suffering within ourselves, healing generational curses and wounds. All of this, you guys, it can be very painful. It's those labor pains, but at the end of the day, we are birthing, we are in the process of birthing an incredible reality. And at the time of the Libra New Moon, I'm telling you, it's such fertile ground that it is that we're embedding ourselves within and it all starts first with the mind okay it starts with the mind this is an amazing time for relationships absolutely don't get me wrong with that some of you guys get so annoyed with me talking about relationships but from a spiritual perspective everything is a relationship if you ask me but some of you guys it's right over your head you wouldn't understand that that's fine you'll catch up with me one day i promise but outside of that you know what is it that you're manifesting? What is it that you are called to manifest right now? And also, I'm very curious to hear about your moon sign. What earth, it doesn't even need to be the actual sign, but what element does your moon sign rule? And what things do you find nurture and give you space? Leave those ideas down below in order to help inspire each other, okay? Until then, you guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. And I will definitely see you in the next one. So please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find time and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. 
you'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.